Hey guys, Micah here from ebikeschool.com, and today I'm going to show you how to install an inexpensive but loud horn on your e-bike. Now a horn is one of my favorite accessories for e-bikes. It's great for warning cars when they're about to pull out in front of you if they didn't see you. Now a bicycle bell is still important, it's good for you know warning pedestrians when you come up behind them, but there's no substitute for a good horn when you're riding around with cars. Now most e-bike specific horns are really subpar, you know, they're kind of wimpy, they're like a little buzzer or they're those annoying novelty sirens. So I'm gonna show you my favorite horn, which isn't actually meant for e-bikes, but instead it's meant for scooters and motorcycles and mopeds. It's one of these guys. Now, these are my favorite horns because for one, they're loud because they're meant for riding on the road, and two, they're just super cheap. I got this one for less than $3 on AliExpress, but you can find them on Amazon as well for I think like five or $6. I'll put links to both options in the description below. The other nice thing about these horns is that they're designed for higher voltages. So while they come in 12 volt versions, this one's actually a 48 volt version. So I can run it directly off of my 52 volt battery. You know, you can go like a little bit uh, up and down from the voltage. They make these for 36 volts. I probably wouldn't use a 36 volt one for a 48 or 52 volt battery, but 48 volts is fine for 52 volt battery. They also come in 24 volt and uh, 12 volt, of course. Now, wiring these is really simple. Basically, there's just two terminals on these, and it doesn't matter which one is which, you just connect one to the positive end of your battery and the other to the negative end of your battery. As soon as you make that connection, you're gonna get the horn noise. Now, you're probably wondering, you know, do I need to connect this directly to my battery? The better way to do this, obviously, is to use a switch so you don't have to just, you know, connect and disconnect this each time. Um, the important thing now is to use a momentary contact switch, and that's the type that it only functions when you push it. Now on my e-bike, I've got this nice switch on my handlebars that has a momentary contact for a horn and also has some other switches for lights and things like that. But you can find other ones. Uh, if you have a throttle that has a green button on it like this one, then that's probably a momentary contact switch. The red ones are usually not, they're usually on-off switches. But uh, I'll put a link in the description below to switches just like this one. They're also cheap, you know, just a few dollars. Now, to actually draw that power from your battery, what I've done is, when I built my e-bike, I knew I was going to want to use accessories directly from my battery, so I installed a couple of wires right on my battery connector at the controller. That way I can draw power straight from the battery. If you didn't do that, you can always cut off your connector and put a new one on and solder in uh, additional wires to tap into your battery that way, or you can slice into your wires further up, or you can even plug directly into the charge connector on your battery because most batteries can provide a small amount of power directly from their charge connector. You can't, you know, discharge and power your entire bike from that, but you can get a few amps out of there, no problem. Okay, now let's install this horn. I'll mount the horn on the cross piece from my front fork where a fender normally goes. Then I'll connect one wire from my battery directly to one of the horn's terminals. You can either solder this directly or you can use wire connectors like I'm using. Then I'll add a wire that goes from my switch to the horn. And lastly, that wire will run back to my battery. Now when I press the button, I get a horn. Now one note, the wires I'm using for my horn are pretty thin. They might overheat if I was to use this horn for a really long time, but you generally only use your horn for a second or two. So unless you're being a jerk or something and just sitting on your horn, these thin wires are probably going to be fine. If you do want to use your horn for a really long time, either accept that Karma is going to burn out your wires or upgrade them to thicker wires in advance. And lastly, it's time to announce the winner of last week's book giveaway. And the winner was Pure Water Window Cleaning. I guess if you need your windows clean, this is the guy. So congratulations, thank you for commenting. Just remember to send me a private message, let me know which book you'd like and where to send it. And then anyone else who wants a chance to win one of my books, either DIY Lithium Batteries or the Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, all you have to do to enter the giveaway is put a comment below, and then hopefully you'll be the lucky winner in next week's drawing. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.